Good evening, all I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Today, we have a viral video about Southport, with a massive cover-up according to Nigel Farage. Mm. On Southport, all I can say to you right now is I know a hell of a lot more mm -hmm. than the British public know. A hell of a lot more. I've been completely silenced. I dared the day after Southport to do a video to say, can we please know who this man is? Was he known to the authorities? Why do I feel we're not being told the truth? The level of demonization I came under for that from both front benches mm. was astonishing, from media commentators. Um, demonization on, on a level that I'd never even, even experienced. Now I'm told by the Speaker of the House of Commons, I can't ask questions about it in the House of Commons. Mm. Parliamentary privilege is out of the window. Mm. Even rumours today that the court case, which is due in January, every effort is being made to defer it. Right? Yeah, this is what's going on. We are witnessing one of the biggest cover-ups we've ever seen in our lives. And I won't say any more than that. I genuinely would never wish to be in contempt of court. I have respect for our legal system. It's not perfect, but it's a damn sight better than most of the rest of the world. But as the, you know, as the, as Jonathan Hall KC and Lord Carlisle, one, the terrorism czar, the other, a seasoned professional international respecter of how terrorism laws work and how the legal process works, both of them agree with me the public should be told the truth about the individual. Mm. That does not prejudice the case that is about to come up. Mm. And much of the rioting that happened in Southport and elsewhere was with an absence of people being told mm -hmm. the truth. So I won't go any further than that, of course, other than to say I will be proved right. We don't have any more to say, but it's not looking good for Keir Starmer as it's trending Starmer out on X.